Hello, my name is Don and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about this badass Savage. I am super happy with this. Wanna find out what I did to it? Stay tuned. Okay, so finally done lead lapping this bore on the Savage. Let's see what we got here. Now this was some work, guys. All right, here we go. Now there's still a few little machining marks on it here and there. But for the most part, now this was not the cleanest. I mean, there's still, I may have to spend some more time on it. Dang it. I thought I had them all, but that's how bad this was. The machining is just absolutely horrible on this this barrel. I think for the most part it's pretty good though. Yeah, there's some pretty deep gouges right there. But it looks 10 thousand times better than it did I'm gonna shoot it like this for a while might have a little bit of lead right there yet yeah maybe not so I'm gonna shoot it like this for a while and then uh, see what uh, let's see how it cleans up I'm going to turn it, we look at a different part of the bore here. I could probably work on this forever and not remove a lot of these gouges that are in these in this uh, barrel. It looks a lot better than it did though. So, let's see how she shoots, guys. Yeah, you can see that there's still some real deep gouges and machining marks in the, uh, in the bore. But, I mean, I think if you were to get rid of all of those, you'd probably get rid of most of the rifling. But it looks a lot better than it did, and I'm sure it's going to clean up a lot better. Now we just got to see how good it shoots. If you watched the last video, I told you I was going to lead lap it. I did lead lap the bore. I lapped the uh, inside of the action. We bought the Boyd's Pro Varmint Zombie Green stock. Uh, we spent a little bit of extra money on the checkering, the laser checkering, and the adjustable cheek piece. I am ecstatic with it. I love the way this rifle looks. I wasn't sure how crazy I was going to be about the color, but I absolutely love it. Uh, as far as looks go, I think this is my best looking 22. Uh, I am ecstatic over this thing. I think it's just beautiful. Uh, now, hopefully I didn't just polish a turd. So we're going to shoot some ammunitions. Uh, first shot since I did uh, any, any of the work, um, I waited till I got the stock to shoot the rifle so hopefully I just threw the scope back on it uh, put it in the stock and we're out here and we're gonna shoot it uh, we're gonna shoot some rifle match which I shot in the last video uh, we'll see how that compares to the last video since I lead lapped it and we're gonna shoot some uh, special match RWS and some Ely Sabre so let's see what happens we'll see how these mounts hold zero so I uh, after I got done doing all the barrel work I just threw the scope back on it tightened it down I don't know if it's going to be sighted in still, but let's find out. Top left target. Well, wow. pretty close. So much smoother now. Oh, 
A little bit of vertical dispersion, but not horrible. You gotta get used to the mags. So I got one of these bigger rubber knobs for the, uh, for the bolt handle. Works pretty good. It's kind of like the CZ457 uh, rubber knob that comes on the uh, Precision. They have a Precision rifle and uh, it comes on that one. I think it's the same company that makes them. A little bit of vertical on this rifle. Oh, dropped one. I think that was it. Now it's one big ragged hole down there. I don't think that shoots bad for a, basically a $250 rifle and some labor. I haven't done anything to the trigger yet. Uh, I do plan on... Uh, they do have a mod for the trigger where you're supposed to be able to get it down to like eight ounces. Um, I'll be doing that maybe tomorrow. I just had to get out here and shoot this rifle. I'm not terribly disappointed with the, uh, the trigger that's in it. I think the trigger actually uh, is pretty good. Uh, two and a half pounds, I think two and a quarter, something like that. That's uh, that's pretty good. It's a little heavier than I like, but I like how crisp it is. It's a pretty decent trigger. All right, so this is RWS Special Match. Boy, I got to get used to this magazine. All right. Now, it does like the SK. We've established that. Now we're going to try the RWS special match. Hopefully we we'll, won't have to shoot too many fowlers. This is some expensive ammunition. Better. Oh, that was not me. Hmm, not too good. Of course, it's only 10 shots. We'll get it fouled in, and I think we'll probably end up having to shoot five groups to get this fouled in. All right. Damn. Oh, wow. I'd say it's fouled in. Holy crap. Last group of the RWS. Oh. Dang, I didn't drop that one either. That was a that was a good squeeze. Just had an underpowered round. I'm not disappointed with that at all. I mean that's that's pretty darn good. You know what, I can't, I gotta shoot a couple more. Gotta do it. It's fouled in. Trying to beat the darkness now. So this video is just gonna be 50 yards. I'll shoot another one at 100 and maybe 200 also, uh, depending on how well it shoots at 100. But it seems to be uh, performing quite, quite good. I'm gonna bring that down just a tad. <laughs> I 
One bug hole and one outlier. Damn, this thing shoots. Now I tried a couple of these ammunitions um, before I lead lapped it and it wasn't great. Uh, that ammunition didn't shoot near nothing like that um, before it was lead lapped. So I don't know if, I don't know, it seemed to help. Now in my CZ457 and my, the Bagheera likes this stuff a lot too. It shoots about 0.6s, 0.7s. Uh, I think 0.6s out of the CZ. Now that's the, the Elijah Barrel CZ. And about 0.7s out of the Bagheera. And that Bagheera is totally stock except for the uh, trigger and the chassis. All right, I'm gonna start on the next line. Kind of doing the same thing the RWS did before it fouled in. I'm ecstatic with this rifle for what I've got into it. Well, the action smooth as can be. It shoots. It's beautiful. You can't go wrong with that, guys. Uh, I'll put, at the end of the video, I'll uh, put a total price on what I have into this with the scope, the rings, the, the, uh, the stock. Third group, Ely Saber. I want to bring that up a little bit. That's not bad, guys. That's, that's not bad at all. Oh, that's still not bad. All right, I'm gonna measure those things up and then we'll uh, come back out and we'll give you some final thoughts, so stand by. So I wanna talk about uh, this target real quick. The rifle match shot pretty good, a .35, a .40. We did have quite a bit of vertical going on in both of those groups. Uh, we had a pretty good bug hole going here and then we had two low flyers uh, on the 10 shots that we did on that last group. But these two groups uh, averaged a uh, .375. Now the, the RWS, these were fouling groups, so these don't really count, but we had a really nice group here, .23. Then we got to this one, we had a, four shots up here, one low flyer. Same thing here, four really nice shots right here, one low flyer. Four real nice shots, one flyer. This ended up being a pretty decent group. But uh, you can kind of see the trend here. Uh, same thing with the uh, Ely Sabre. We had a decent group going here and we had two low flyers. Uh, four shots there, another flyer. Same thing here, same thing here. And this one was just kind of all over, but you can kind of see what was going on here too. So it seems to be a little bit of a trend that I've almost had a flyer on every single group. So I don't know if that's something going on with the, uh, the inside of the rifling. Maybe I need to spend a little bit more time uh, polishing that uh, rifling up a little bit. But uh, if you guys know what might be causing that, uh, let me know uh, in the comments. All right, well, let's go to the final thoughts of the video. 
So yeah, on those flyers, I don't know if that's something I need to be worried about or if it's, you know, as I shoot the rifle, if that's gonna go away, if it's gonna break in a little bit better. Uh, maybe I need to a little, spend a little bit more time um, working on the inside of that barrel. I don't know, because I did see um, where it seemed like it may have needed a little bit more attention on some of the, uh, the rough uh, chatter that was in that barrel, but we'll iron it out. I'm still pretty happy with uh with how it's shooting it's just those uh those flyers almost on every single group i shot there was a a flyer could it be me i don't know maybe uh this is a little bit heavier trigger than i'm used to uh i didn't feel like it was me it seemed like i was getting some pretty good squeezes with it but you never know it, it could be me so i'm just going to keep an eye on that we'll shoot some more groups with it and uh just keep my eye on it and see if it's something that uh, develops a pattern uh, if it is, then maybe I'll uh, spend a little bit more time on the inside of that barrel. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, if you like what you saw, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing here, go down there and smash that subscribe button. I can't build this channel without you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.